Hey there! Police departments across the United States, from New Jersey to California, have been raising concerns about a new feature on the latest Apple iPhone operating system called NameDrop. This feature allows users to exchange contact information wirelessly. However, experts believe that the warnings about potential scammers and thieves exploiting this feature to steal personal information may be exaggerated or even baseless. Firstly, for name drop to work, the devices need to be in close proximity to each other, practically touching. Additionally, both users must agree to share their information. Mark Bartholomew, a law professor specializing in cyber law at the University at Buffalo, reassures that NameDrop has enough safeguards in place to prevent someone's information from being stolen. He believes that the panic surrounding non-consensual sharing of contact information is unnecessary. Here's how NameDrop works. Apple users need to update their devices to the latest operating system version, iOS 17.1 for the iPhone or watchOS 10.1 for the Apple Watch, which have name drop enabled by default. Users hold one device over the other, within a few centimeters, until name drop appears on both screens. They can then choose to exchange contact details or receive contact information without reciprocating. The exchange can be cancelled by pulling a device away or locking its screen before the transfer is complete. NameDrop functions similarly to AirDrop, which allows Apple users to exchange photos within Bluetooth and Wi-Fi range. However, it seems much more difficult, if not impossible, to use NameDrop to send unwanted information or harvest personal details without consent. Even if someone has name drop enabled on their iPhone, the phones must be almost touching for the feature to work, and both users must agree to share. Furthermore, only the information that users have added to their contact cards is shared. The police warnings, mostly shared on Facebook, follow a similar pattern. They state that name drop allows information to be shared between phones that come into close contact. The police particularly highlight the risk to young people and advise parents to disable the feature on their children's phones and their own phones as well. It's worth noting that wireless methods for sharing contacts among mobile devices have been around for years. Digital business cards, for example, use near-field communication technology to transmit data between devices. Unlike name drop, Digital business cards work on any mobile device, not just those running Apple's iOS software. Google used to have a similar feature called Android Beam on its mobile operating system, which allowed users to share contacts, photos, maps, links, and other information by bumping the backs of two phones together. Some Android users were disappointed when it was discontinued in 2019 but Google replaced it with an app called Nearby Share. If you're concerned about privacy and want to disable name drop, it's a simple process. Just go to your iPhone settings, tap General, and select AirDrop. From there, you can toggle off the Bringing Devices Together option. While the privacy concerns surrounding name drop may be largely unfounded, Professor Bartholomew suggests being skeptical about emerging technology. He advises caution before fully embracing new features and considering the potential trade-offs involved. 